Here's Jordan. This is the 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon. Alexander Valley, of course. Very exciting. Latest release, 2012 vintage. Good stuff. <laughs> so, you know, most um, Sonoma wineries are out with 13s, even 14s. Not Jordan. Because Jordan lets the wine age in the bottle at the winery because they want the wine to be ready to drink when they release it. They want all those tannins to be nice and resolved, softened, all those flavors to intermingle and come together for a really nice finished wine, you know, and they don't do anything <laughs> haphazardly or <laughs> simply at Jordan. Um, they're putting together um, lots and lots of, uh, of grapes from all over. Um, estate grapes, of course, but they also source from uh, family growers in the area. Everything gets fermented separately all the lots fermented separately. Everything gets tasted, and then they put them in barrel. Um, <clears throat> once they've been in barrel for a year, they taste them again, and they decide which are the best lots to go into the final blend, and then they go back in barrel. <laughs> so anyway, it's a meticulous, very intense process to put together the Jordan Cabernet. They're using primarily French oak, but they're using a little bit of American oak now with carefully selected Coopers. Only about 40% new oak in this wine. This wine is about 77% um, Cabernet, uh, 16 Merlot, and there's some Malbec and some Petit Syrah in here. I mean, Petit Verdot in here as well. So Bordeaux varietals blended in. Um, and that's, uh, that's how they do it. <laughs> that's got a real sort of Bordeaux nose on here. I get this really pretty cassis, black currant, along with some nice sort of, um, cedary cigar box, some, some graphite, just dark chocolate notes under there. It's pretty. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a remarkably sort of round, supple wine. Um, the fruits, <clears throat> the fruit is really nice. Those cassis notes right up front carry through the mid palate, lingering on the finish. But they're played off of by those sort of minerally, um, sort of graphite and cigar box notes. Really gives it kind of um, a nice balance. A really nice sort of um, dry, um, but complex overall feel. You know, <laughs> they keep it in bottle this long so it's ready to drink now and it's this is a beautiful wine to drink right now but I know that this is a wine that's gonna age and it's really gonna unwind and really gonna gonna get some really nice layered complexity on this wine if you put it in the cellar for five years so I'm gonna recommend you get some to drink now and some to cellar <laughs> happy drinking